A high official of the 5th dynasty named Kani Nisut built this mastaba on the west side of the Great Pyramid. It looks complex, but the large structure originally belonged to Kani Nisut, and his son, Kani Nisut II, built the small mastaba on the front or east side in the middle, and grandchildren built the appendage off to the right on the north side. An exterior mud brick chamber once protected the entrance to the chapel, and this is where we are going now. The German Austrian expedition worked in this part of the necropolis in 1912, and they discovered the Mastaba Chapel. The director was Hermann Juncker, professor at Vienna, and he received permission to take the entire chapel back to the Kunsthistorisches Museum in Vienna with him, where it is now reconstructed and on exhibition. Inside, all four walls have received carved and painted decoration. On the north wall, we see Kani Nisut in large scale, with his son behind at a much smaller size, and he's confronted by scribes bringing accounts and estate figures for his inspection. On the east wall, we see above the entrance boats with sails unfurled and others with men rowing, and then next to them, personified estates, or offering bearers, each of them employed to bring produce from the various regions and districts conscripted to serve the cult of the deceased. Offerings are listed on the south wall, and then on the west wall, two false doors have been placed. These are the focal points, the connections between the land of the living and the land of the dead. The living come in and place their offerings of foodstuffs in front of the doors for the spirit of the deceased. And behind the false door, we have reconstructed a surdab or statue chamber and placed a pear statue inside. One was not actually found in the Mastaba Chapel of Kani Nisut, but we have put one here to show the original proportions. In side view or section view, you can see the relationship of the chapel, where the living would come to place their offerings, and the statue chamber or surdab behind it. And underground is the burial shaft connecting to the south to the burial chamber housing the sarcophagus and Kani Nisut's mummy.